A monitor of the phone and text lines into 1010XL Radio will tell you what you need to know about this season. How would you gauge callers now versus a year ago? Uh, October of this past year was a very difficult time to come to work because, uh, yeah, this text line here, lighten up. People angry, people upset. The Jags shocked the NFL world with a late season run into the playoffs, and fans are gearing up for another. If you look at the practice calendar at jaguars.com, where they're giving away free tickets to practice, you see four practices are already sold out. Part of that is the Miller Electric Performance Center and not having practices open to the public last year during training camp. So I think that, I think that what you're seeing is you're seeing the palpable buzz. Um, I think that a lot of fans, uh, because you know they, they still live in this world where they think the Jags are going to jag, but the reality is you have a head coach, a stable, great functioning human head coach, uh, and you have a quarterback. This comes as the team is embarking on some major facility upgrades. Let's start with a new Miller Electric Center. The ribbon cutting for that is slated for next Friday. And as far as the talk of the new stadium, which includes possibly moving the team temporarily to a different field, Matt Hayes says he doesn't think that will affect this season. I don't think it's impacting it, but I think certainly there are people looking forward thinking, I'm not sure I want to drive to Gainesville. For eight games or nine or, or eight games or nine games, just because that's the only other answer. I think people are looking for different answers. And tonight, uh, Jaguars officials are meeting with members of the East Side, not far from here, about some changes going on, so they're prepared for the Jag season. Now, the Jag sent me a statement saying they've sold a record number of tickets so far for 2023 and they expect the lower bowl which is like the lower bottom seats of the stadium to sell out soon we're live outside tia bank field scott johnson channel for the local station